boom roasted how you guys doing what's up going everybody good morning afternoon evening whatever it's time for us in this video hope you're having a great day so far a great night and uh welcome to the ham fan welcome to my channel thank you guys so much for watching the previous videos if you are a returning viewer thank you guys so much i love you so much it really means a lot we are so close to 450 subscribers i can taste i can taste it for real all right wow 450 subscribers growing up there now the end goal is a million so if you're watching this subscribe just click the bottom right hand of the video over there and freaking subscribe i mean if you want to join the ham fam merch is coming soon do not sleep on it i mean i know i'm not big enough to be selling merch like that but it's coming soon so please don't sleep on it also i love you guys so much so without further ado roll the intro Welcome to the channel. What is going on, everybody? We're having a great morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time we watch this video. I just got finished doing 110 floors of stairs for uh, September 11th. All the first responders out there. Uh, it is September 11th today, and um, kind of a emotional day for some people uh, if you haven't been there or lived through it um, I mean I was personally there I was probably about four years old though. and I was in New York not New York City when it happened but being in the military um, it gives us something to think about while we're just living day to day here because as you know um, all the war that we've been in for the past 18 plus years has been from that day so it's kind of something to think about but uh, on a lighter subject hopefully uh, tomorrow I can get something for the truck that I've been saying to get I've been wanting to get for a while and um, that what do you do about getting a wreck? Ooh -wee. Um. Anyways, been trying to get some wheels and tires for the truck. I want some chrome wheels. I uh, hope I can get those. But um, in this next clip, I'm about to just literally talk about why I think having a diesel is good. You know, I mean, some people don't like diesel. Some people do. Uh, it all depends on your personal preference and what you can afford and do to the truck if you want to modify it um, or work out of it. So number one reason why I chose the diesel is because probably it's one on one to be honest. But uh, let's say, I mean, I do drive a lot. I drive, I mean, I've already, I've only had this vehicle for, um, excuse me, since February and I've already put 15,000 miles on and have not had a single engine problem yet. I've had something with a fuel filter, but besides the point, uh, the longe long longevity, I'm trying, trying to think of how to say that, but uh, anyways, the endurance and, yeah, longevity, no, I'm not sure. Anyways, don't, be, don't kill me in the comments over here, but, um, just how much a Dermot or a diesel can take in general is uh, way better than a gas truck. Like you could have 300,000 miles on a diesel and as long as you're not dogging the piss out of it, it's going to be a reliable vehicle still. I mean, there's no spark plugs, none of that nonsense in a diesel. Uh, it just takes a beating a lot better than a gas truck. And... Um, Speaking of that, for the engine, while we're on the engine, uh, it's so much easier to make a diesel faster and more efficient. Like all the, so say like your newer or semi newer trucks have the EGR cooler on them and whatnot. Like those get blocked up really easily. And if you don't even um, take them out on the newer trucks, it can actually mess up the engine more than it will with you keeping it on. But, uh, so much easier to do stuff to a diesel. You can, I mean, it's a little bit more expensive, don't get me wrong, like a freaking lift pump to have two 
fuel filters on it pretty much and to constantly put let's say at 165 it gives 165 gallons a minute uh, fuel at that rate through your engine so that's something to think about but six hundred dollars you know but it'll make your truck a lot more efficient and better anyways reason number two the towing capacity if you work out of your vehicle is so much better in a diesel engine because of all the torque they have and you could be making like 800 something torque with only like 500 horsepower you know like you don't need a lot of horsepower for a diesel engine to tow or you know work out of and it like you're towing a 24 foot center console that would normally make a gas truck uh kind of sluggish you know you can pass people all day left and right with a diesel engine or a diesel truck and it would feel like nothing's behind you at all that's another great reason number three for diesel engines in general um Transmissions are usually pretty good, especially in a Duramax. I mean, Allison transmission also is known to be having one of the best uh, transmissions out there for diesels. I mean, they use them in buses, uh, military vehicles, all kinds of things. And having a Duramax, which is such a great engine in general, um, it's just a perfect combination, to be honest. But for the Dodges and the Fords and the 68 RV or 68 RE for the Dodges, isn't that bad now it used to be pretty bad in the older one transmission that they used to have but that's for the six sevens and the six eight are pretty sure but um four transmissions not that bad if you're not trying to push too much power to them the uh, transmissions in general are just a lot better than a gas truck like i'm not gonna lie 408 e is a pretty decent transmission excuse me but uh it's not gonna hold up to anything like the Allison can hold up to. So that's also another reason why I chose uh, diesel versus gas this time. Oops. Clean old school Chevy right there. But I'm gonna go grab some chicken breast and some corn and uh, I'm gonna go eat real quick and I'll get back with you soon as I am done. What is going on, everybody? I am back. Back at it again. Um, Just ate. And I think we're on number four. <sighs> okay, so reason number four why I chose diesel. Now, these reasons obviously are subjective. And you don't have to just go out there and buy diesel because anybody else has one, you know. I mean, I've always wanted one. And I've probably probably never going to go back unless it's like a car. A gas car, obviously. Boy. And... Speaking of those bumps that I just hit, that is the next uh, major thing that I bought a diesel for. Now, um, you can obviously buy things that are upgraded for car or uh, gas trucks, but they're not as common. It's going to be kind of harder to come by them. You know, like uh, Kryptonite Tire Rise, my buddy Tommy, uh, who's an RR with me, he, um, he has Kryptonite tie rods that he just bought and he's having to buy, buy some kind of special linkage for them for the tie rod ends. I don't know why, but uh, my kind of just bolted right in, but okay, dude. Um, all the heavy duty parts that you can get for a diesel is pretty nice and it lasts a lot longer than it would on um, a normal truck per se. I know some diesels have like 300 plus thousand miles, never even changed the wheel bearings on, you know? But again, it also goes back to how you treat your vehicle and how, you know, how much you abuse it and whatnot. So, that leads me to the last thing. Number five is the sound. It's kind of, it's not really, it's not really, uh, you know, not really needed but it it is nice uh i mean i just roll under down for you ladies and gentlemen hopefully you can get a little sound of this I mean, who doesn't who doesn't love that do it one more time oh especially with an lbz or 6-0 power stroke, I'm not gonna lie. 6-0 power strokes 
they sound pretty dope. So, I know that was a short video for you guys today. Um, I kind of just want to throw something out there for you guys this week. I'm trying to do two, two videos a week while I can, while I'm not being in the field and whatnot. But, uh, if you want to me to do any, I mean any type of video for you guys, I know I did a cooking video last, uh, I'm probably going to go down this weekend do a CJW and Mark um, in Columbia, help Mark put his rear bumper on if I can make it in time, and hopefully I can get some wheel tires this week as well, that would be awesome. But if not, hopefully I can just hopefully I can order some. But uh, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, anything at all, be sure to DM me or on Instagram. My Instagram's in the bio. Uh, be sure to DM me there or just comment down below. And thank you guys so much for watching the video. Love you guys so much. Thank you for joining the Ham Fam. I really appreciate it. This channel's gonna be going places very soon. Appreciate y'all.